Hello, Diggory Haydock here with the Vintage Gun Journal and we're going to be taking a look at an interesting action today. One that I've never really encountered in any big quantities but uh, apparently it was made in reasonable numbers in its day. It is a gun dating back to 1860 and the patent by Robert Jones number 285 of 1860. This particular gun is a 16 bore. It was made as a pin fire and has subsequently been converted to center fire. So there you can see the, the replacement center fire hammer and the arrangement there where you've got a striker and holes in the rather thin pin fire type fences. Usually with a pin fire when it's been converted you can spot the pin fire holes on the top of the action there but these ones have been filled in and disguised quite successfully. So the action itself is quite interesting. Uh, 1860 still an early breech loader um, and quite um, an innovative way of holding it together this. Um, the key part here we can see on the rear lump is that sort of half moon shaped limb extending laterally either side of the lump. That is engaged by a hook, which you can see there. That hook comes forward and you can see the lump goes in the middle of it and the two outside parts of it bear down on that half moon shape, drawing it onto the, um, the bar flats. All operated by an underlever. And the underlever, as a means of retention, has this rather interesting little button. So when the gun is closed, we close it. As you can see, it's an inert action. By that I mean there's no spring which returns the operating lever back to its closed position. That has to be done manually. So you pull that back here and then a spring catch engages it like so. And there we have it in its closed position. Neat little gun, nice handling characteristics. It's obviously had quite a hard life. A little bit of damage there, checkers worn underneath of the bar showing some damage but nicely engraved and there it's helpfully got the patent number 161 so that suggests this is the 161st gun made by Robert Adams to this patent.